Vancouver West End. Thank you, Honourable Speaker. <laughs> Honourable Speaker, the federal government just introduced legislation to explicitly protect transgender Canadians in the Canadian Human Rights Code. An explicit protection, I might add, that is not written into the BC Human Rights Code. The federal Liberals, New Democrats, Green, Bloc, and even Conservative members support explicit protection in the Human Rights Act. Conservative leader, leader Rona Ambrose said, and I quote, I do think the specific recognition and codification in law is important. I know that it means a lot. Does the BC Liberal Minister of Justice believe the Prime Minister, the parties, every party's members who say they support this legislation and will vote in support of it are wrong? Should there not be explicit protection written into the Canadian Human Rights Act? Madam Attorney. Madam Speaker, the, we always, of course, follow with interest what the federal government does, but what I can say, Madam Speaker, to transgendered persons and indeed to all of British Columbians, transgendered persons are protected under the British Columbia Human Rights Code. Now, I acknowledge, I, I speak to transgendered people, I know a number of transgendered people, I acknowledge that they face challenges. And there are two in particular that I would, I would observe. One is that they do face challenges in society. And I, I thank the organizations like the Trans Alliance and others who raise awareness of those challenges. The second challenge they face is that fostered by persons such as the member from Vancouver West End. When he, suggests, when he suggests that the only way your rights can be protected is if you have a good lawyer. That, Madam Speaker, is complete rubbish. Transgendered persons' rights are protected under our Human Rights Code of British Columbia.